Hey guys, welcome. Today this video I will speak about writing lambda functions using AWS and Java. I'll be using Spring Tool Suite ID for writing code. Spring Tool Suite is a flavor of Eclipse. I have opened Spring Tool Suite. Let's go to File and New. Click Other. I want to create Maven project. Under Maven, select Maven project. Go ahead and click Next. This one is going to be a standalone Java application. So I want to choose Archetype Quick Start. If it is web based application, we choose Maven Archetype Web App. So select Quick Start. Go Next. Let's select group ID and the artifact ID which is going to be my project name. Okay. And go and hit finish. All right. Let's expand and let's open pom.xml. I want to add dependencies specific to AWS SDK. Let me maximize this. Under dependencies, I want to copy a couple of dependencies. One is for Lambda Java Core, other one is for Lambda Java Events. So when I build my project, I want to include my source code. And along with my source code, I want to include the dependencies my code uh, depends on. So I need to go and add a plugin. So I need to put build tag. Under that, plugins tag. And the plugin I'm using here is Maven Shared Plugin. The idea of using this plugin is it's going to create a fat jar. It's going to include all my dependencies required plus my own source code into a single jar. That I'll be deploying in Amazon as a Lambda function. Now let's go ahead and write our lambda function. I want to rename this class name. Let me do format. Even I don't need main function there. Traditionally our AWS lambda functions has to implement a specific interface. It's request handler. I need to specify the input and the output. Nothing but when this Lambda function is triggered, I need to specify what kind of input it's going to accept. Let me choose object and object. Object as input and object as output. So add unimplemented methods there. So it automatically generates a handle request and so whatever input type I mentioned there that's object again here whatever output type I mentioned that's my written type so I want to simply say welcome to lambda function as of now I want to just return null this is See, simply hello world example to first understand how to 
write our Lambda functions using Java code. So in upcoming videos, we'll see some nice real-time scenarios with complex examples. So code is ready. I want to create a jar file. So right click Maven, not Maven. Um, yeah, it's go to run as Maven build. Provide goals. Clean package. Click run. That has created the jar file. Okay, so I need to deploy this jar file into AWS. Let's go to AWS management console and upload our code and deploy it. Here I am in AWS management console. Click on Lambda or you can choose from compute Lambda. Okay, create function. Let's do it from scratch. Choose runtime, which is Java 8. Right now, I am leaving uh, this as default, which will have minimum permissions to execute the function and send logs to CloudWatch. Create function. Now, so I want to upload my jar file, which is sitting on my laptop. So click upload let me go to my home directory it's lambda target you have two jar files one is of 3 KB, other one is little heavy. So we need to upload the jar file, which is having more size because right, it has my code, custom code, as well as the dependencies I have added into my project. So if you upload this one, which is of less size, it won't work. So upload it. Then I need to uh, change my handler details. The format is the package structure dot class name dot class name, right? followed by double colons and the function name which is handle request format your package structure dot the class name colon and colon followed by the function name save that now I want to test this code even I can link up this Lambda function to some of my events that we will see in upcoming videos. Right now, I want to just simply execute my Hello World Lambda function. To invoke that, I need to pass some input. So click on test and I need to pass some dummy input to the function. As of now, if you see the code, so whatever I pass here, right, I'm not using that input. So when, when I test it, I can pass any kind of input, any kind of data, it should work. So I, I said, right, this could be anything for this example. Give event name, create that. That's auto selected here. Hit test. 
and I see that execution succeeded. Go to details. The written type is null, but you can notice that sys out welcome to lambda function. So that's all about our first example using Java and AWS lambda function. We'll see more and more interesting videos in upcoming series. Thank you. Thanks for watching.